uh, Dorian is a young man uh, who kind of represents innocence that has been corrupted. It's mm. about uh, good looks and how much we sort of prize beauty and art and how superficial those things are or aren't. I feel like it's so relevant. Now we live in a time of like super narcissism, you know, with social media, selfies. This just shows that it's kind of always been around, but now we've got the means to do it even more so. Dorian Gray is really a warning about the dangers mm. of vanity and self-love when it's yeah. taken to an extreme. It's kind of like a dark fairy tale myth. It's very, it's very poetic and rich language, but it's all from the original text. It doesn't really feel like a period piece or like a Victorian piece. We've not updated it, it's not full of iPhones or anything like that, but it has a kind of quality that's timeless. So there are just four of us for an hour and a half telling a story together. It's seductive and interesting and really poetic. And then the next day we'll swap parts and do the same again. <laughs> <laughs>